talk about omegas. There are so many benefits about omegas. Um, as we know, it's very protect. You know, it's great for your heart health. It's great for your joints. I've had many, many people once they just started on omegas and we made no other changes. They said, "Wow, my joints feel better." You know, it's a lubrication. It's the EPA and DHA combined together that actually helps that anti-inflammatory effect. There was a recent study about um, fish oil and vitamin E. And women or young girls, and they were, that were in this study, they were ages um, 15 to 25, and they actually had a study that had four, they call them different arms. The first arm was they had an omega only, and the total EPA DHA looks like it was about 500. Now ours are a lot higher than that, they're 500 um, EPA DHA combined, um, ours are 800. And the second arm was an omega alone plus vitamin E, and then vitamin E alone and placebo. But what they found was that the vitamin E and omega together really helped reduce menstrual pain or dysmenorrhea as called and it significantly reduced the, um, the pain. So that's another reason to do omegas. Um, more recently, they have shown that um, increased fish oil consumption reduces the risk of overall dying of any disease by 14%. And what are some, you know, what are some things that also we already know fish oil is beneficial? Decreases arrhythmias or irregular beats, decreases inflammation, which I just talked about, decreases obesity, decreases diabetes, decreases metabolic syndrome and insulin resistance, and it also helps with depression. So one thing that people don't talk about is there's an epidemic today of um, non, you know, fatty liver disease, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. So you have actually, you know, fat stored on your liver, and that's typically from a high um, carbohydrate diet and high sugar diet. So your liver can only store so much sugar, then it starts sugar storing fat on your liver because it can't store the rest within the liver. So whenever you add fish oil, it increases the blood flow to the liver, it decreases the fat deposits, and thirdly, it decreases the liver enzymes. So, you know, increasing fish oil can actually help your liver. And another thing that we talk about is there's brain protect, protection when you have an EPA DHA. So it can protect against Alzheimer's and inflammation of your brain, memory decline. And their recommended amounts here is about 1,300 milligrams of EPA DHA. You could just take two of our 800s and that would cover that basis. And that's recommended um, for memory and cognition. So one of the things that you have to think about um, omega fish oil is also important for cancer prevention because what is cancer? Cancer is a pro-inflammatory state and omega fish oil reduces that inf inflammation within the body in general. So the last thing I want to talk about is that omega fish oil increases the gut microbiome or the diversity of bacteria that's in the gut. And you know, if you have a good diversity, you're going to have less cancer risk and less inflammation and omegas actually help that too. So I hope this I hope this better, you know, shows you what other reasons besides your heart that you should eat, you know, consume omega fish oil and eat salmon cuz that has it in it too. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. If this information was helpful, hit that thumbs up button down below. If you want more videos like this, hit the subscribe button down below, then ring the bell next to it. Also, if you know other people that you would want to share this link with, please do so because I would love to help them on their journey to good health.